What's going on guys? It is Matt Tolson here. I know it's been a very long time since I've uploaded a video. Like I said in my previous video, I was not going to upload any more content until I could bring you guys some good content that you would enjoy way more. Uh, they'd be better edited, better filmed, basically coming out with some way better content. Uh, so, like I said, uh, we're going to be bringing you more videos, lots more install videos, uh, reviews, car reviews, fishing, and then I'm super excited to introduce the new aspect of the channel, which is going to be mountain biking. Uh, I just actually purchased a new bike. Next video, I'm going to be doing a review on that bike. In today's video, it has to do with that bike, uh, not directly, more to do with the truck. Uh, I know I clickbaited everybody saying I got a big modification for the truck. Uh, it's actually super small, super, super easy install video. It takes about 10 minutes max. Uh, that's at the very longest aspect of the video. Uh, what I'm going to be installing is a cover for the tailgate. So basically what this does, made by Japan by the way, shout out to them. It's a super good product, super thick, super cool features. Um, basically what it does is it covers this part of the tailgate and then you put your bike over it. So then your frame sits about here and then your tire hangs over the back. Allows it to not scratch at the back of the truck uh, and makes it for easy access to throw your bike in and out. If you're shuttling or like what I'm be doing, driving to the trails, bringing my truck to work, et cetera, et cetera. So without further ado, let's get started and install this guy on the truck. So let's get started. First thing you gotta do obviously is take it out of the package. Uh, it's gonna be very hard with one hand. So I'll switch you guys down right here. And let's open this guy up. Um, I actually shipped it. REI sells these, so you can get them from REI as well. But the REI by my house didn't have the deluxe version. So there's actually two versions. There's the normal version, which uh, works for cars without backup camera. So maybe an older model Tacoma. Um, so there's that version, which is I think just the, literally just the normal one. And then they call this one the DLX version, uh, which I just short for deluxe version, um, which basically adds a bigger vent or not vent but opening right here for the backup camera and as you can see that's going to go right there because i have a backup camera so let's keep getting it out of the package it also comes in a few different colors um one of, i got i chose to get the black color keep it clean and simple so as you can see, I got the black one. Um, there's the Dakine logo. Um, there's that, so that opens up. Um, like I said, I got the black one. I'm pretty sure the other color is camo. Not a big fan of camo. Uh, I just like the cleaner look because it's gonna be sitting on my truck a lot of the time and uh, I drive it a lot, so I wanna keep it looking clean. So let's get started and let's get this thing installed real quick. So let's get out of the packaging. Set this off to the side there. Throw this away. Make sure to always throw these away. So put that over there. First thing we're gonna have to do since I have the cover is push this guy back. Yes, I know my truck bed is super dirty. Uh, I haven't washed it since the last time I've taken it off roading. So, so it's very simple. You start by laying it over the top. Right there's where it has a fold. Basically, this is how it's going to sit uh, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it at the bottom uh, are the straps. So, basically, all you do is you take the truck, kind of pull it right here, so then it opens up this gap on the back side. Um, and so, basically, you fun, funnel that wire, or not that wire, the cord through the bottom up the other side. There's a little, whatever one you call these things, 
uh, on the side and uh, basically you funnel through there and then tighten it down. Uh, you don't want to tighten it down all the way to start. You want to get it for sure in the right spot. Um, and then I'll actually show you guys. So I got the small one. So basically there's two sizes, small and large. Uh, Mid-sized trucks, they're small because obviously it's a smaller tailgate. And then large for like an F-150 or Tundra or something like that. So we get these guys unstrapped. So, so, once you get the pad all adjusted, basically, I have it sitting right here, I have my phone sitting there to hold it, um, that's kind of how it's going to look, it's going to be that, but basically you get the, these cables fed under there, um, they feed through obviously right up under there, that's where they come out, and then you're going to attach them to these guys. Uh, can't do that with one hand, so I need to do this real quick. So you go under the middle side, up, the, or up through the middle side, I guess you'd say. Kind of pull it a little bit, and then down back through the opening right in front of it. And you don't want to pull them super tight just yet. Uh, you want to leave them kind of like that, just so you can get the pad in the correct spot because you want to have these sticking on the back. These uh, are what locks down your bike so it's not tipping over. So I'm gonna just hurry up and do this one. So, obviously, it's very easy, guys. You got those tightened down right there a little bit better. Um, kind of an idea how you want it to look. So I got mine riding too high. Clearly, my camera is still blocked. So I need to pull it towards me a little bit. I think you're supposed to, don't quote me on this, but I'll have to look it up. I'm pretty sure that's how you want it to sit. You want it to be more flush like that. Uh, you don't want this covered as much. You want to cover, obviously, your tailgate because that's where your paint is. So I'm going to push it, kind of mold it to where I want it to sit. Um, but yeah, I, I know you want these to be on the up, uphill slanting part of your frame. So I'm going to adjust that real quick just so that it fits better. And then another cool thing, you know, about the deluxe version is you're able to tie it up right there. This is the part that allows your backup camera to be useful while still being able to have that. I'm not going to do that real quick. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching this video. Sorry for having to clickbait everybody, but welcome back to the channel. Can't wait to start uploading more videos. I got tons of cool video ideas coming. Uh, I'll be doing lots of traveling here now that it's winter. Gonna be doing skiing, skiing videos, mountain biking in Arizona, all that really cool stuff. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on my notification bell, because I'm telling you guys, 
I'm gonna be having crazy cool videos coming your way in the next upcoming weeks. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in those next ones.